So hello everybody and let's get started. So I'm using my uh, The Body Shop Vitamin C moisturizer on my face and I'm just gonna rub this in. Then I'm taking my DIY day cream and I'm just gonna pop this underneath my eyes. Now I'm gonna take my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Ivory and I'm taking three pumps of this on the back of my hand and I'm gonna dot this around my face. And then I'm going to blend this in with my damp Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. So yeah, I'm just making sure that's all blended. Now I didn't like the coverage, so I'm going to take an extra pump of this and just pop that on the back of my hand as well. And now I'm taking the sharp. Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair and I'm going to pop this underneath my eyes in like a triangle and on my eyelids, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, my forehead and underneath my cheekbones just to highlight the highest points of my face and also start carving out my cheekbones for contouring. This concealer gives a lot of coverage and it's perfect for this, for a more dramatic look. So now I'm taking the RCMA No Colour Powder and I'm going to pop this on a little fluffy brush and uh, set that concealer underneath my eyes with that powder and also my eyelids as well. Uh, this is just going to prep it for eyeshadow. So, and then I'm taking a bigger fluffy brush and, sorry about that, and I'm going to pop this all over my face, just to make sure the foundation does not go anywhere throughout the day. Now I'm taking the NYX double ended brush for my eyebrows and I'm going to run the spoolie end through my brows first, just to sort of make them in, put them in the right shape, right place. And I'm taking the NYX Tame and Frame in the shade Blonde and I'm going to use this to sculpt out my brows and give them some shape. Now I'm taking the Colourpop Brow Pomade in the shade Dope Taupe and I'm going to use this to fill in my tail, the tail of my brow and also add a little bit more definition. Make my eyebrows nice and defined. I feel like darker eyebrows are perfect for a more dramatic look you can get away with darker eyebrows a little bit better. So now I'm going to take the Brow This Way powder from Rimmel London in the shade light brown and I'm just going to fill in the kind of the sparse areas of my eyebrows and make them look a little bit more voluminous. And now I'm going to run that spoolie through them again. And now I'm going to take the Benefit Gimme Brow and this is going to just set all the hairs in place and make my brows a little bit more voluminous. Now I'm taking the Shan XO palette and I'm taking this yellow shade on a fluffy brush and I'm going to pop this through the crease. This is going to be my transition shade for this look. Transition shades are really important, they're going to make uh, the blending process a lot easier and a lot quicker for when I put on the darker shades in a minute. So yeah, I'm just running that through the crease. And now I'm going to take this sort of denser fluffy brush and I'm just I'm going to take my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'm going to take the shade Puree on that brush and I'm going to pop this on the outer V and through the crease as well. This is just a slightly darker brown shade. I'm going to make sure I've blended this out really well as well. And of course doing that to the other eye, making sure to run that through the crease. And I'm also taking that on the lower lash line as well. And then I'm taking this uh, packer brush or a dent shader brush and I'm going to take the shade Charmed I'm Sure from the Sweet Peach palette and I'm just going to pop this on the outer V. This is a slightly darker brown so I'm just basically building up um, the colours and, and intensifying that outer V. 
just focusing this on that outer corner. And then I'm going to take it on the lower lash line. So everything I do on the top, I'm going to do that. I'm going to mimic that on the bottom lash line as well to pull everything together. And then I'm going to take that same fluffy brush we use for the transition shade. And I'm going to use the same that transition shade as well to blend out this uh, light brown or darker brown, sorry, that we've just put on the outer V. And that's a car driver by. <laughs> And now I'm going to take the shade Tempting from the Sweet Peach palette, which is basically a shimmery black shade. And I'm going to really focus this on the outer V now. This is very intense, so this is just placement for the time being, but I'm being very careful not to put too much on. You want to make sure you tap off the brush with this one to make sure there isn't, that you don't get too much because these shades could be difficult to blend out. Now I'm just going to take that uh, dense fluffy brush again and I'm going to use the shade Puree, uh, just a small amount, and I'm going to use that to blend this black out. So lots and lots and lots of blending. Make sure that that is nice and seamless and there are no harsh edges. And the same for the other side, making sure to really, really, really blend them out. I'm going to take that fluffy brush again that I used before and I'm just running over that again and now I'm going to take that same shade tempting on that uh, dense sort of shader brush and I'm going to pop that on the lower lash line and I'm going to blend those out as well with that same dense fluffy brush and now I'm going to take the color tattoo by Maybelline in the shade infinite white and I'm going to take this on my finger and I'm going to pop this on the on my eyelid this is basically going to be a uh, eyeshadow base for the shadow we're going to pop on in just a second. This is going to make the eyeshadow underneath it, uh, on top of it, sorry, pop a lot more. And now I'm going to just blend that kind of in and make sure that that white's not too stark. And now I'm going to take the shade Luscious from the Sweet Peach palette and on a eyeshadow packer brush, I'm going to pop and pack this onto my eyelid. The shade Luscious is like a rose gold uh, champagne colour and yeah with that colour underneath it's going to really make this shadow pop and it's also going to make it last a lot longer as well. I'm also going to pop that on the inner sort of third of my eyelid, uh, lower lash line sorry, to sort of tie it all in together. And now I'm just flicking away any fallout with that same fluffy brush and making sure that everything is nice and blended together. And now I'm going to go in with eyeliner. So I'm taking the Rimmel Glam Eyes uh, liquid eyeliner and I'm going to run this along my uh, top lash line. I did not want to do a wing for this look. I felt like the uh, eyeshadow was quite dramatic itself on the outer edge. So I didn't want to do a wing. So I'm just going to pop this on the top lash line. This is going to create a nice base for my eyelashes that I'm going to pop on in a minute and it's going to make my lash line appear thicker. It's just a nice thin line and then once that's dry I'm going to take my uh, eyelash curler and I'm just going to curl my lashes and I'm taking the Kimberly by Ilia and uh, yeah as you can see these have got a nice sort of thick, thicker outer edge which is the type of eyelashes that I like. And yeah, I'm just going to pop these on. These were really, really difficult to put on on camera. <laughs> I really struggled. I've got my tweezers. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and now I, I pop them as on off camera. So now I'm back. And whilst those are drying, I'm going to go in and do my face. So I'm going to take the Hula by Benefit. And I'm going to take my Unicorn Domed Brush. And I'm going to really bronze up my skin. And pop pop it in kind of the contoury area as well of my cheek and I feel like you can be a little bit more dramatic with your bronzer when it's a bit more of an intense look like this. I'm going to pop this under my lip and then I'm going to take this um, dense brush and I'm just going to pop this on my contour to sort of intensify that contour area and take that down my neck as well. Now I'm taking my fan brush, my unicorn fan brush, and I'm just going to pop this on my nose to make my nose a little bit slimmer and try and straighten it. <laughs> now I'm taking my Chanel mascara in the shade 10 
and I'm just going to blend my real lashes with the fake ones because my real lashes are blonde so I do not want those showing and I want my eyelashes to look nice and voluminous so yeah now I'm taking the fast stroke defining lash by collection and I'm just going to pop this on my lower lashes like so and now I'm going to go in with the blush so this is the California blush by Benefit and I'm just going to rose up my cheeks make them nice and flushed like so now I'm going to take the iconic London illuminator in the shade original and I'm going to pop this on the highest points of my face so the tops of my cheekbones and I'm going to blend that out with my finger I also pop this on my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and um, on my brow bone as well, which you'll see in a sec. So I blend it out with my beauty blender, and as you can see here, this as well, I pop it on my nose and underneath my eyebrows to highlight those areas. I find that this illuminator gives like a really gorgeous sort of sun-kissed glow. Perfect for a wedding, a summer wedding. Uh, yep, gonna blend all of that out with my beauty blender. Make sure it's all nice and seamless. And now I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade O Snap. And I'm gonna go in with MAC Cream Cup and pop this, slime my lips, and then pop the MAC lipstick on as well. I wanted a nude lip. So this is basically the makeup finished. Nice, dramatic, and pretty for a wedding. And now I'm going to Pull, brush all my hair back and I'm gonna pop it to the side make a side part in I'm gonna bring out some of the curly bits um, and then hairpin that in place so I don't catch that in my plait so I'm gonna French plait this from the top and I've already pre curled my hair I did that heatlessly um, I'll be doing a tutorial on that soon and yeah I'm just gonna plait French plait all this all the way down to the bottom of my neck and then when I get to the bottom, I'm then going to pull it all back and pop it in a ponytail. Like so. And I pulled out all my sort of plait and made it nice and thick. And uh, yeah, and now I'm just going to gather up that the rest of that hair and I'm just going to place another hairband on top. And now I'm going to bobby pin the crap out of it. So I'm just going to pop about 50 bobby pins in my hair and then I'm going to hairspray it and make sure that it's all in place and that it's secure. This took me probably about 10 minutes and then I'm going to pop this these uh, jewel bobby pins in and that's the hair done. So this is what I wore and it's just this red dress. I don't know where this is from, I've had this for a few years. But yeah, it's just this uh, red bodycon dress that's one shoulder and it comes just above the knees so an appropriate length for a wedding. And then I wore this uh, Boohoo Choker, rose gold, and some earrings. And yeah, and I also wore some rose gold pointed heels from Misguided. And yeah, that's basically it. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.